The headdress of Tut's famous death mask with its pierced ears was made sometime before the face itself and was originally designed for a woman. Some Egyptologists believe that his middle coffin was actually made for his stepmother, the Egyptian queen Nefertiti. It's a theory that's never been tested until now. In Riverside, California, Professor Ahmet Roy Chowdhury works at the cutting edge of facial recognition software, developing programs for security firms and the military. Using the latest technology, he aims to determine whose face is represented on the middle coffin. So the question that we're going to answer is, do the features of the middle coffin match the Nefertiti mask better or the Dritten Common Death mask better? To compute the similarity between two faces, the software identifies and maps the facial features of both individuals. Professor Roy Chowdhury starts with Nefertiti. So this is a face mesh in glue, and on this mesh we have marked the features that are of interest, the corners of the eyes, the mouth, and so on. And when the mesh is completely aligned with the face, the computer now knows where those feature points are on top of the face. From the mesh, the computer identifies crucial areas of the face, giving a signature pattern. The process is repeated with the Tutankhamun death mask. Now Professor Roy Chowdhury has a unique pattern for both faces. The purpose of doing this is to come up with an objective measure and a number. This number cannot be obtained just by staring at those faces. We can have some idea that they're similar, but by doing this process of coming up with a signature, you are coming up with a number. The distances between the signature points are tiny, ranging from two to four millimeters, because essentially most faces are similar. For the computer, these differences are statistically significant. So how does the Tutankhamun mask compare with the middle coffin? The middle coffin shows a 65% or even lower similarity with Tutankhamun, which is what you would probably get if you just take two completely unrelated people, you might still get a 60 to 65% similarity. So what about the Nefertiti bust? How does that compare? We see actually that the middle coffin shows an almost 85% similarity with Nefertiti. This gives us a very high level of confidence in saying that the representation in the middle coffin does indeed resemble the representation of Nefertiti that we had started off with. So these results are great and they provide solid numbers to stand behind those theories. The work at Riverside is the most convincing evidence yet that Tutankhamun was buried with second-hand grave goods. And one treasure found in the tomb reveals that Tut's identity changed even during his lifetime. This throne found